The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, the mailman has just dropped off something real special at the door, and we're about to check it out. Oh, hi. Did you hear the mailman come? Oh, yes. Let's see if we can get this to come over here. It's about to be production time. Yeah. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, I'm making my first beat with the Ableton Push 2 controller. Now usually I only make beats with my typing keyboard or a simple piano controller. This is my first time diving in with any controller, but they make it seem really easy to incorporate this one into your Ableton workflow. So let's go ahead and cook up a beat together. So I'm gonna load up an Ableton instrument and that's probably gonna be the add device button. And it looks like they give you these knobs here to control the lists. I feel like doing something a little organic to start with. Let's try instrument rack, guitar and plucked. Ooh, that one sounds nice. So I'm gonna add this device by hitting the load button right here. There it is. Okay, so it seems like the C's are the colors that correspond with the track color, which is blue in this case. One of the things I was really excited to try were the scale suggestions because I love when your device suggests things to play because I tend when I put my hands on the piano to play the things I know. So I'm just gonna hit the scale button and we got a full menu of all the scales you can think of. So let's try doing E Lydian and I'm just gonna grab that like this. So there's our E. And then if we wanna hit the next note, So that's our E Lydian scale. And this little green note should show you what the same note is on the line beneath it. So let's tap in a tempo. grab my mouse and just do my quick keyboard shortcut to shorten this recording. And I'm gonna hit quantize on this because that's a little nice shortcut to quantize all these. And then I'm just gonna duplicate this pluck since we already have it. And let's delete all this on here and let's do a recording. So I'm gonna record an ARP to go behind this bass line. this together. I'm going to actually just copy and paste this using my mouse into here. Whoops. Let's copy and paste it right at the beginning of the loop. That way these can all live together in one clip. And let's paste another one of these over here. So let's go ahead and pick another instrument. So I'm going to go to add device. I'm going to grab an instrument from right here. That one's tight. Let's load that up. I'm going to add a device to this and let's add an audio effect. A reverb is going to be perfect for this. Let's turn the pre delay up and let's turn the. Let's play this over our guitar loop and see what happens. got that locked in let's go ahead and make some drums so I'm gonna hit add track and let's do a MIDI track impulse 
and I'm going to hit load, and that's going to give us a blank impulse. And the next thing I'm going to do is hit browse, and that's going to take me to all the locations here in my Ableton sidebar. Uh, let's go to Urban Beats 4, and let's put a clap. Let's take the first one, and let's hit load. And let's go down an octave. Let's just do this one, ins one instrument at a time. Let's record it on our clap. All right, let's add another track. And let's make that a MIDI track. Again, we'll do instruments. User, let's go to back to Urban Beats 4. Download that up. All right. And now this is where the drum pad gets really tight. So I'm going to enable arpeggiator mode by hitting repeat. And now we have all these different options that we could trigger on the fly. So you got eighth notes, eighth note triplets, sixteenth notes. And as you push down harder on the key, it adjusts the velocity. But wait, it gets even better. So let's go ahead and, and record in a hi hat pattern. I'm going to start on eighth note triplets and then we'll just bounce it around from there. double click this it actually gives us the MIDI for what we were hearing instead of the old workaround trick in my arpeggiator video where if you don't have a push I'll put a link to that in the description and it gets you kind of close to this but this is just tight the way it prints the MIDI just like this I'm gonna add an audio preset here from delay a let's turn that down a little bit this is getting tight already. So now let's add another hi-hat channel. I'm gonna add track, simpler, load, browse. I like that one right there. I'm gonna hit load on that. Does your mastering sound like hot trash? Have you wasted countless hours trying to finish your song with no results? Introducing Ozone Master Sauce, our cleanest and most powerful mastering preset ever for Isotope Ozone 8. Sauce up your song today with Ozone Master Sauce. Available now only at Holoops.com. And let's do another closed hat. I like that. Load that right there. I'm give this nice little touch script strip that does some pitch bends for us. I think I'm going to be hitting this thing up. I might actually just switch this from a simpler to a sampler here with my mouse. Let's make this an octave. We're going to put in some really fast hi-hat rolls just like that. So let's hit our record button. That's tight right there. So I'm just going to make a loop out of that. Hit up Urban Beats 4, and let's find a snare that's going to layer well with this clapper. Maybe even a snap might be tight. Yeah, let's use a snap. I like that idea. I think I want to add in an 808. Urban Beats 4, disrespectful 808s. And there they are. I'm going to load up that one right there. from the first time around. 
click on our clip. Let's hit quantize. I think the only drum left to lay in is going to be a kick. So I'm just going to hit command shift T and let's grab, since we've done it with the controller a bunch of times, let's just grab here. Ooh, I like the kick down there. It's recording some kick drums. Awesome. So now that we've got our drums over there, let's start to arrange this beat by creating an intro and an actual beat section. I like to create groups for my synths and all my drums, and this isn't something I'm really going to be doing with the controller, so I'm just going to group right here, and we'll call it synths. And then I'm just going to drop a drums bus here on the drums group as well, and I like doing this with the crunch instead of the drive, and then just pulling this back about halfway. duplicate this right here and I'm going to drop two things on the synth group. The first one is going to be the OTT preset and let's try and just bring these up, these up and this down and maybe the amount or I'm sorry the output gain down too. this and let's put halftime on here too. Put it right before it and let's put this at 50% and let's play our beat from the beginning and see what this gives us. Hey! Man, I kind of want to vibe this out just a little bit more, maybe with some echo automation too. This just got really cool. Let's switch this to eighth note triplets too, because that's what we've been using for this beat. And let's fade that in. It's automation here on our halftime. Some automation that goes from here to here. I'm going to right click and use the draw mode. I absolutely love these things. And then you can just get rid of this dot right here so it stays all the way up. And let's listen to what we just did. Let's start high and low and then have it go to the middle for the next part. That's more like it. And then let's have this automate up like this.
have it, a really quick beat, my very first one using the Ableton Push 2 controller. I hope you found all the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful, and if you want to see more Ableton Push 2 beats, leave a comment in the description, and I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.